let's say you believe, man, if I get to a finishing position, an armbar or a strangle, there's only like a 20% chance I'll finish with it. How hard are you going to fight to get to that position? You're not. Why? Why would you? But if you believe there's a 98% chance, if you get to that position, you'll finish. You'll find a way to get there. This is the idea of identifying competition in terms of its normalcy. Most people see training and competition as two different things. Training is normal activity that you do every day, and competition is the exception. Okay, it's different. You're going out, there's people watching you, there's a big crowd, they're making lots of noise. When in fact, it's just a grappling match. It's just two athletes, a referee, and a rule set. That's, that's the reality. Now, what they try to sell you is something which is not reality, which is this is somehow bigger and different. So that it becomes not just a grappling match, but a grappling performance. There's only one reality. You, him, and the referee reinforcing a rule set. That's it. Everything else you see, the smoke, the fire, the music, is an illusion. And it's put there intentionally to make you feel a certain kind of way. And your whole goal is to see this as an illusion and walk out and see only the reality, which is that this is the same damn thing you do every day in the gym. The only difference is you're going with a guy you've never grappled before. Once you're aware of it, it's like when you yeah. when you see a magician and you have his tricks explained to you, you never see the magic again. The first time you see a good card trick from a, a good magician, it's oh my god. Then when they explain it to you, I, I did this, this and that, step one, step two, then you look at it like, mm, it's not that special. And when you explain to people this idea of the pageantry is an illusion, then just as when you watch the magician and you learn the trick, all the magic flies out the window, so too with the, the nervous response. People tend to see things like confidence as a mental state. It is, but it comes out of the performance of physical skills. All my life I've seen sports psychologists try to create confidence in athletes through non-physical means. And it always ends up being the same kind of cheesy motivational speeches, um, highlight video reels where they try to pump artificial confidence into people. And I've never been impressed by this, nor have I seen it have any kind of positive effect on, on athlete performance. What I do see build confidence is the sense that athletes are 
developing skills and using them successfully under conditions that closely mirror the event they're preparing for. Once they get this down, that's where true confidence comes from. Confidence doesn't come from words, it comes from accumulated skills, which experience shows you have been uh, responsible for successful performances in the past. And if you accumulate enough of these, your confidence rises.